There is a lot of stuff in this uh, entryway. A lot of pipes, timbering, ore cart tracks, and up there collapses. Let's go check it out. Pretty big retaining wall right here. This is what's behind the retaining wall. <clears throat> now they call this, I think this is called River Rock. This kind of uh, stuff you're seeing here, ground. Not the most stablest of uh, material. And uh, they dig through old river rocks like this. Apparently there, you can find gold and other stuff. So uh, that's what this was dug through. Here's some old equipment. Some kind of motor, probably a generator. And uh, let's keep going. Yeah, here's more of the uh, what's above me here in the ceiling. I mean, this stuff is just, I mean, you just touch it and it crumbles. So, but I guess the overall integrity is. Uh, Oh, we got some crickets in here. See that? There's some crickets jumping down there. I guess the overall integrity is still okay, but wow. There's a big rock embedded in the tunnel wall right there. Yeah, this isn't timbered at all. See that looking down there? It's just rocks and pebbles. I think the last mine I was in like this was the uh, Sturlog mine way back in 2013 or 14. Um, that tunnel was dug through this exact same kind of rock and then there was a collapse about 100 feet in, if even that. And we couldn't get past that collapse. Oh, look at this. There's like a layer where my light is there in the distance, there's a layer comes right over here you can see it on this side too right here some big timbers here and uh you know there's some collapse down there but let's let's keep going that's looking back towards the portal i'm about 100 feet in something like that and uh still this conglomerate of different sized rocks and pebbles. Here's looking above me. Tunnel's about uh, just over six feet tall. You can pretty much stand upright which is a good thing because I wouldn't want to be bumping my head on the ceiling. Just look at all this loose rock. Wow. I'm surprised this isn't timbered. I mean, any part of this, any section of this, what the miners call the back, the ceiling, could give way at any time, I would think. But, uh, like I said earlier, maybe the overall integrity is, uh, you know, pretty good, even though it's composed of numerous smaller pieces of rock and debris. I don't know. Not an engineer, but uh, I guess they didn't feel the need to timber. Okay, still going. It's been a uh, straight shot. Now I'm about 200 feet in. There's the portal way back there where that daylight is. Uh, nothing exciting to report. Oh, right up here, there's there's uh, some pipes here. For the first time I've seen some pipes. 
Well, looks like they've been capped off. See that? But uh, I believe this pipe you see here that's been in the tunnel the whole time, I believe that's a drainage pipe. I think the mine is flooded further up here. Uh, some other explorers were in here not too long ago. That's how I found out about this mine, actually. I always knew about this mine for like the last 12 years, but never got to it. And then some other explorers said they checked it out uh, not too long ago. So here I am. And uh, really one of the more unusual tunnels because of all this rock. I just, this is just really, we don't see this in uh, mine tunnels, drifts, this kind of uh, underground, this kind of material. I, I think it might, I hope it changes up here into something a little more solid, but this is really interesting. It's got a nice color too. It's got some gray, mostly confined to the upper part. And then the lower part is mostly tan and brown. I don't know if that's coming out in the video, but yeah, it's got some nice uh, color. And, uh, yeah, usually the mine tunnel walls are pretty smooth, but these are just studded with rocks sticking out everywhere. Still continuing onward, here we're getting some more, more solid chunks of rock. There's a big piece of quartz. I don't know if you can see that in there. If that's coming out in the video, but there is some sparkly stuff there. Probably pyrite, but who knows? But yeah, this is uh, getting a little more solid, bigger, bigger boulders and things like that. I hope it, I hope it keeps going that way. You know, it makes me wonder if there's like fossils in these uh, rocks. They would have to be because if this was a riverbed at one point. And then there's probably animals, sea creatures or whatever, that died in the water and floated to the bottom and would have gotten compressed in all these layers. At least I think that's how that works. So, okay, there's a, there's a major collapse up here, it looks like. But I think I can get over it. I see a gap. Yeah, you can hear the water running through this pipe. Uh, it might be flooded back here behind this collapse. This collapse is acting like a dam. Let me get over there. I do see some water, I think, but let me check it out. This doesn't look that deep. Well, okay, it's up, it's up to my ankles. Um, you can see ore cart tracks what's left of them, they're, they're coated with this white mineral growth. Oh gosh, this is getting real narrow. Um, 